Forbes has been getting a lot of attention lately, but this time it's important for people who own XRP because a Forbes business expert said that the real financial institution, Forbes, has decided that the price of XRP will likely be between $200.19.29 and $498.98 in the next four weeks. Right now, the price of XRP has gone up by more than 100 times, reaching a high of almost $500 in just one month or even less than four weeks. But this is just the beginning. Forbes has also confirmed that the US dollar will fall, which is what will cause the price of XRP to reach fall for XRP to reach $500. As this article says, a leak from a Wall Street source has shown that a crypto revolution has started that will destroy the US dollar. XRP will replace the dollar. However, this news comes just a short time after institutions and banks in the United States were given the official go-ahead to use XRP in financial and retail institutions. This means that institutions can now use XRP for global financial transactions and cross-border transactions. That brings us to the question of why $500 in XRP would make sense. We're going to talk about a lot more in today's video, though. All you have to do is click the like button, share this video, and make sure that your post notifications are turned on for the channel. Also, don't forget to sign up for Apple using the link in the description to get up to $100 worth of free XRP. You can also use that $100 to buy more XRP to keep filling your bag. Signing up and making a transaction, either a penny transaction or a $10 transaction, takes less than five minutes. Once you do these things, you will get up to $100 that you can use to buy more XRP. That being said, let's start today's video. It's clear that financial institutions, central banks, and other government agencies all want to use XRP. XRP was also designed to be a stablecoin from the start. Yes, this was revealed not by me, but by a report posted by the World Bank called Central Bank Digital Currencies for Cross-Border Payments. This report, of course, talked about how stablecoins could change the way cross-border payments are made, even mentioning Ripple XRP and Stellar XLXLM. Even though that seems crazy, the $10,000 part is even stranger. Yes, the World Banks have said that XRP needs to be worth at least $10,000 in order to become a stablecoin. These words are not coming from me again. They are coming from the co-founder of Ripple Labs, Arthur Brutu, as well as the World Bank. According to Arthur Brutu, XRP is made for $10,000 and needs to be able to grow to support 7.5 billion people. As the co-founder of Ripple Labs, I've talked about this in more than one video because I think it's important and reliable to do so. Highlighting $10,000 per XRP is something that should be done every time. Once XRP is used all over the world, it will be worth $10,000, which is what it's really worth. But that's just the beginning of today's video. We'll talk about how the Federal Reserve and other government agencies are really interested in XRP and could put more than $20 trillion into the XRP ledger. As you can see from the article, it talks about how the Federal Reserve is about to change its mind, which will cause the price of XRP to skyrocket to all-time highs. And this comes just a short time after Forbes said that XRP's price would reach around $60,000. This was confirmed by both Google and Bing. Then an article came out saying that XRP would be worth more than Bitcoin, with the title of the article being the new Bitcoin XRP and the price being set at $59,472. Although it was said that Forbes quickly took down the article after it was first published, and of course Bing and Google confirmed that. Finally being recognized around the world is a big deal, especially when it comes to the World Bank. Things really take a serious turn when the World Bank not only recognizes XRP, but also calls it a stablecoin. This will happen, but only if each XRP is worth $10,000. This is because XRP will be a stablecoin. We really mean it when we say that XRP is a stablecoin that gets verified by the world banks. This is because XRP is going to $10,000, and this is proven by the fact that it's not just XRP, the digital asset that's going through the roof, but also the XRP ledger and an XRP ledger, ledger token that's really making the boom. It's called the CTF token, and people who hold the CTF token on the XRP ledger can actually make passive income. This coin is expected to go over $247 because there are only 120 million tokens available. Supply Shark could quickly raise the price of CTF tokens from 30 cents to hundreds or even thousands of dollars. This would happen if only a quarter of XRP's market capitalization is invested in CTF tokens. We have proof, and it's not just me saying this. Well-known analysts and experts like Jack Rippler have also said it. There will be a huge supply of the CTF token on the XRP ledger, which means that the real price is going to be $247. When I talk about this, I also want to draw attention to a breakout pattern that is actually taking shape. What makes this so exciting for me is that I own the CTF token, which is about to make people multimillionaires. I'm talking about making multi-millions of dollars through the CTF token. This is because the green candle confirmed that we would get the breakout and the red retracement showed that we would. This means that the price of CTF could go through the roof in the next few days, with estimates putting it at over $247.
The fact that there are only 120 million tokens in circulation is another big reason. This is one of the lowest numbers I've ever seen, and there are only 1,400 holders. To put it another way, the CTF token is like Bitcoin when it was worth a dollar. It's dirt, and the people who took the risk and bought Bitcoin at a dollar and held on to it are the ones who made the most money. I recorded this video ahead of time because I'll be traveling for two days, so you may receive it two days later than planned. I don't know, but at the time you watch this video, the price of CTF may be two times this number, with each token worth $1.50, $2.00 or even $10, or even $10, off even $10. The point I'm making is that the CTF token will bring in a lot of money, whether it's through earnings or buying other things. To make things easier for everyone, I'm going to put a link to their website in the description. It's called ctftoken.com. I think this is one of the best frameworks I've seen. It's a community-driven project and an innovative platform that lets you make passive income. That's why when you read about people asking how to make passive income on the XRP ledger, that's exactly what they mean by passive income people who own the CTF token on the XRP ledger and the Polygon chain will be able to make passive income just by owning it. Tony, could you tell us a little about the regular liabilities network and the proofs of concepts that came out in 2022 and 2023? How have those projects changed the way you think about interoperability? Thank you. The idea of regulated liability network is really an investigation into how distributed ledger technology can be used in regulated financial services. Now, let me pause there for a second to say that it's not at all clear that DLT is a good technology for the regulated space. This is because DLT was created to be the opposite of regulated financial services, not to add to them. This is the first thing you need to do if you want to apply. We don't want non-sovereign currency units, commodity forms of money, proof of work, anonymity, tokenomics or economic systems that aren't regulated. So if you get rid of all that, what's left? Well, there is some stuff left because you have to ask yourself what Ethereum does better than the traditional financial sector. First, Ethereum is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. This isn't a feature that only blockchains have other technologies can do this too. But it's true that Ethereum is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. 